Hello, I am Tim Mayer. Thank you for joining me for the Art at the Castle series. Pottery, having great versatility of form and function, may seem ubiquitous and simply utilitarian in modern life. But this 300 to 400 year old 17th century Italian vase from Urbino is considered an exceptional example of craftsmanship and visual design and would be difficult to overlook. The creation of earthenware, the first type of prehistoric pottery, dates to approximately 18,000 BCE in China. It is believed that the use of pottery first spread to Japan and Far Eastern Russia. It then made its way to the Middle East and Europe. Multicultural variations evolved. One version included a lead glaze with a tin oxide that was applied by dipping fired earthenware in it, which then turned white after air drying. It was then decorated using metal oxide enamels as colors before a second kiln firing. This method was developed to imitate Chinese porcelain, although the two types of clay differ greatly. Techniques and designs were brought to Spain by the Moors, and Spanish potters named it Talavera, after their city of production. Italians adopted the process, referring to it as Mayolica, named for the Spanish port of Mallorca, from which they imported it. Italian Mayolica of the Renaissance is the most renowned of this type of tin glazed ware because it is recognized as one of the most appealing styles of pottery ever produced. A second glaze called coperta in some instances was applied that created more brilliant colors and shine due to its lead content and transparency. This lidded vase depicts the biblical story of Moses and Bithia, the Egyptian Pharaoh's daughter. She is depicted wearing a pointed crown, pulling a baby Moses out of a floating basket on the Nile River. When Italian Maiolica depicts historical or mythical scenes, these works are also known as historiato wares, meaning painted with stories. This pottery was adapted to all objects that were traditionally ceramic and was much more expensive than the ordinary type because tin oxide was an expensive imported substance. This vase is displayed in the Doge's suite, which is seen on the upstairs suites tour and by request on a semi-private tour such as the Art of San Simeon or on a private tour.